Dude, this server sucks. I'm out of here. What is up, crafters? Today, we are going to be taking a look at a new plugin called Logout Avatars. Whenever a player logs out from the server, it spawns a statue where they left. It's a fun way for players to be on the server even when they aren't on the server. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up and use Logout Avatars, and then I'll give my thoughts on the plugin at the end, since it is a premium plugin, but there is a free version that limits you to nine models. We'll get into all that later. I was given a free license to this plugin for making a video on it, but all thoughts will be completely my own. Anyways, let's get crafting. All right, so the first thing that you'll want to do is download Logout Avatar so you can get it here on MC Models. You'll just want to scroll down. You'll need to log in with an account and you will want to go ahead and either purchase the premium version or the free version. I'm just going to be using the free version for this video. We can just click on download then. And now we need to purchase or download model engine. So I'll have both of these linked in the description. I just want to click go to download and we're just going to be using the free version. You can get the premium version, but I don't even have that. So now what we need to do is go into the folder where the logout avatars demo.zip is located and we will just want to go ahead and extract that. And then inside of here, you'll see we have the logout avatars demo jar and the model engine configuration. So we're just going to go ahead and zip these up there we go and now we'll head back into our file manager and then we can just go ahead and upload that into here and then we will also want our model engine jar and then we can just go ahead and unarchive our model engine and log out avatars jar so then we can go to our console and start up our server Okay, here we go. So now our server is back up. We can go ahead and type PL in console and see we have our logout avatars and model engine. They both loaded properly. So now we need to go ahead and grab our model engine resource pack. If you've never used model engine before, then this is how it works. So we just want to go into here and then inside of the model engine folder, you will see this resource pack dot zip. You can just go ahead and download that. And now we will want to go inside of Minecraft and options, resource packs, and open packs folder. And we just want to go ahead and put this inside of there. So how do I do this? Oh shoot. Okay. Oh, we just take this and then we, we, we drag that into, into here. Yeah. I know what I'm doing and just replace that. Heck yeah. Then. We can go back and find it right here. Apply that, get rid of this, ignore the fact that I already did this. And then we just click done and that'll load it. And let me do that for this one. One billion years later, because crafted rogues does know how to use a computer. Okay, there we go. So now our resource packs are loaded. So we can just go ahead and join the server. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, so here we are in our server. So here's my, my alt right here and here I am. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you that our models are actually working. We want to check that they're working first. So you will just type slash model engine or just MEG and summon. And then there are five different ones that come with the demo version and the same five with the premium version. So we'll just do the beach model. And here's our beach model. We can see it's, it's my head and it's, it's this beach. It's moving around because that's just model engine by default. So we can see that that's working. We can spawn in one of the other ones. Spawn, spawn in all of them. There we go. So here are all the different models. We can see that they are all working and they should be working on this account as well. Yep. Okay. So we are all good. Okay. There we go. I killed them all except for that guy. Now we'll let him roam around. Okay. So the first thing that we will want to do is set our preview location. So to do that, we will want to use slash L a and we will set model. And then we will go over here a little bit and set the cam. So this is basically so people can preview the different models and what they look like. So if we do slash LA set cam is right there. And then we can now type slash LA selector. Actually, wait, I'm going to go, I'm going to fly like all the way over here, LA selector. 
And now if we go to the preview avatars, we have our five different default avatars. So here's the sleep preview. So we can see it takes us back to where we set our preview location. You might wanna make this look nice and pretty, or you can just have it in the empty grass void like I do. And then we just press shift and it will go back to here. So we can preview this one. All right, I think you get the gist of that. And then we can use this to also select the avatar we'd like. So I will use, let's go with the epic statue. So you just click this right here. And now if I go over to Chug Birthday over here to show you that this works, where are you? So now if I just go ahead and leave, it spawns in a statue of me. So that's pretty cool. So then we can use slash LA selector again and let's go with the sleep this time and you can also preview it from here and you can go back as well so we click on this and now let's just leave again and then it makes it look like i'm sleeping so that's pretty cool and it's also really cool how it uses my head let's try the beach one so now it looks like i'm sitting on the beach so that's pretty cool the elden ring one so that's what it looks like And then there's one more left. So the astral one. Okay, here we go. So now it just looks like I'm levitating there. All right, there you go. So that is all five of the default avatars. You can add up to four more with the demo version unless you remove the default ones. So now I'm going to show you the different permissions that you need for this plugin. So here I am on my non-operator account, and if I go ahead and type slash LA selector, and I go into the my avatars, we can see that I don't currently have any avatars on here. So this guy, since he has operator slash star permission, he has access to all of the avatars. But to give Chug Birthday access to avatars, what we need to do is type slash LP, or whatever permissions plugin you're using, I'm using Luckperms, user, chug birthday permission set and then log out avatars dot avatar and then dot and here are all five of them if we wanted to give him access to all of the avatars we would just type a star but we'll just give him access to epic statue and then if we go on here go back and then go back in we see that we have permission for epic statue now and let's just go ahead and enable that so now if he leaves, then his statue pops up. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the config.yml. So if we head into our file manager and we go into the plugins folder, and then we go into the logout avatars folder, then we can see that we have the config.yml. This is pretty straightforward. So right here we see that there is debug, so you can enable or disable that. That's just going to print stuff to console. So that's up to you if you want that. So right here is the protection. So this basically is so that way people can't like trap the player while they're logged out since they can see their avatar. So if we go ahead and we'll log back in on this account and then I'm going to log out on here. And if I go closer to him, I can't break the blocks near him because it's protected. And then if you have the World Guard plugin and let's say you don't want a bunch of players to put their statues in the spawn region then you can just put the name of the world guard region right here so let's just go into the epic statue and we can see all of the different settings for this so here's the display name and then this is the model that corresponds to a model engine and then this basically tells it the to use the player skin and then this is how long it stays around for so it's going to disappear after one minute or 60 seconds. So if you wanted to make that longer, then we could just add some zeros to that. Don't add too many though, because of like the maximum integer number. And then you can also edit the hologram above the avatar and you can edit the, the Y position of the hologram. So how high it is. For some reason, my goofy microphone got screwed up for the rest of the video. So I'm just going to have to dub the rest of the lines using my phone. I apologize if you like to listen to my nice crispy voice. And then here's the permission note for it. This goes after the logout avatars dot avatar dot. So if you want to add another model, you can just copy one of these files and edit it and make sure to change the model to the model identifier in model engine. Then you would just tweak the rest of the settings to your liking, save and start or restart your server. 
And then over here we have the logout avatars wiki. This is a great place to get more information on configuring certain aspects of the plugin. And you can even learn to make your own avatars in Blockbench. I'm not brave enough for this, so if you do make some cool avatars, I'd like to see them. And finally, if you don't want to make an MC Models account, you can get the plugin on Spigot and Built by Bip. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to see logout avatars in action, I would like to share some of my thoughts on it with you. So typically, I like to compare the plugin that I'm making a video on to similar plugins, but I could not find anything that's similar to logout avatars, which makes it a very unique concept. I like how easy it is to set up and how easy it is for the players to use it as well. Great value drinking water, that's what's up! Like I said in the beginning, there is a free version that lets you use up to nine models, and it also includes the same models as the premium version, but you can remove them and use whatever model engine models you'd like to. Personally, I think that nine models is plenty, but if you maybe wanted to sell the logout avatars on your web store, since it is completely cosmetic, then the premium version is well worth the money, and it's also a great way to support the developer. Now, if I don't say anything negative about the plugin, then people will label me as a sellout, but come on, I'm an evil scumbag Minecraft YouTuber after all. So one thing that I would like to see is an option to use the this plugin without models for servers that don't want to use a resource pack or don't want to set it up for bedrock, which is possible. I will be making a video on it eventually. Maybe it would just spawn in like an NPC of their skin or something. But overall, I really like the concept of this plugin, and I think it's one of those things that's going to make your server more interesting and stand out from other servers. And if you're debating whether or not to buy this plugin, the developer gave me two free licenses to the plugin for you guys and 15 35% off codes as well there on screen right now. First come, first serve. So if you're watching this in the future, I apologize. They also wanted me to say that they are releasing two similar plugins in the near future called AFK Avatars and Death Avatars. So I am excited to see where these go. There's even a nostalgic pack for logout avatars that I approve of as a veteran Minecraft player. But what are your thoughts on logout avatars, Josh? Or even if your name isn't Josh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, Lightning McQueen, Buzz Lightyear, and Goofy will steal all your marbles and socks. If you need help with this plugin, you can join the developer's Discord server, or you can also pop into my Discord server and ask for help with anything except for dating women because I don't know the first thing about it. I have these, but I doubt I'll ever end up actually using them. You can also join both of my Minecraft servers, but you're not allowed to log out. Yeah, I'm running low on jokes. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you on the other side, and happy crafting.